One of the main purposes of USI being universal was the idea that we could get one pin and it would just work on any device that you picked up that was USI compatible. But with USI 2.0, it's not exactly that simple. And this one particular change in the spec between 2.0 and 1.0 is something you need to understand the difference in if you're looking at picking up a USI pin. Let's talk about it. So here's the deal. When we got the new Lenovo Chromebook Duet 3 in the house, we thought that the pre-production model that we had prior just wasn't ready for USI input. But then we got it here and we took our handy dandy Penoval pin and the one you know that works on every Chromebook, uh, just like this, and touched it to the screen here. And well, nothing happened. And we kept touching and nothing kept happening. And so we thought maybe, perhaps, We'd gotten a dud device and this thing wasn't going to work with pen input at all. We reached out to Lenovo, we started talking, and after we kind of uncovered some stuff, we realized this tablet is actually USI 2.0 ready and specifically it uses an in cell digitizer. And so, what that means is USI 1.0 pens won't work on this particular Chromebook. But here's the thing, USI 2.0 pins like this one here, this is the new one from Lenovo. It's actually the first one technically kind of available. It's not really available just yet, but it should be shortly. Uh, it is a USI 2.0 pin, which means it's backwards compatible with any USI 1.0 screen. So like on the Spin 513 here, if I touch it here and give it just a second, this Chromebook realizes it, it works just like you'd expect, everything performs the way you would expect. So you could buy this pen and use it with any Chromebook. The problem is it doesn't go both ways. So this USI 2.0 or 1.0 pen, I'm sorry, won't work on this USI 2.0 screen. But it's only this USI 2.0 screen because as I said before, one of the spec changes with 2.0 was the idea that you would add support for in-cell displays. And so that means the digitizer and everything that works with the pen is all part of the display panel here. And for right now, now this could change, but for right now, the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 3 is the only Chromebook like that. So what that means is all of the pens that we've talked about over all the years that USI has been a thing simply just won't work on a Chromebook like this. And unfortunately, it's not very clear to see that on a spec sheet. It's not clear to see that on the box. And so you need to really try to figure out what you're looking at if you're going to buy a pen for a device like the Chromebook Duet 3. And the cool part is, I mean, this has some enhanced capabilities like enhanced tilt support and, you know, USI 2.0 makes way for NFC charging to be just a normalized spec. But the bummer of all this is this pen, though it works with all other Chromebooks, really is the only one you have an option to buy to work with this Chromebook, the Duet 3, at this point right now. Now, this will change over time. Uh, in the future, you'll be able to pick up other pens that are USI 2.0 and pick them up and they'll work with Chromebooks, both older and newer, and we won't really have to worry about this as much. But you also need to know that just because the Duet 3 is in an in-cell display, it doesn't mean that all USI 2.0 displays are gonna be like that. So if it was a non-in-cell display that's USI 2.0, it would still work with the USI 1.0 spec. So the point of all this is, while this is a singular Chromebook that won't work with all USI pens, it's not exactly universal anymore the way it used to be, but it's pretty close. Again, this one pen, even though it's a 2.0 pen, will work with all USI Chromebooks. And this pen would work with all USI 1.0 and 2.0 Chromebooks if they're not in-cell displays. And so it's just that spec that makes it not reverse compatible. And so otherwise, things work across the board. But you need to keep an eye on this kind of stuff and we'll do as good a job as we can moving forward when new Chromebooks come out that have in-cell displays that we realize, hey, this isn't going to work with a USI 1.0 pen. We'll let you know when we find that to be true. But the more you know, the better and more informed you can be when you go to make a purchase in the future. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.